Day 30 out here. Just had a great uh, meet up with one of my old fraternity brothers. That but, was so fun. Yeah. They're awesome. Great job, Rock. Beautiful family. I'm really proud of you. So beautiful. And then tonight we're headed down to Denver for the annual uh, Frank and Beans holiday party. Can't wait for that. That's going to be incredible. Oh, be... my tuck still fits. I hope so. I hope that uh, I can find something out of that tiny closet to wear. It's black tie. Anyway, real quick message. So last night, um, Jeffrey and I were out at the whiskey bar and I'm sitting at a table an arm's length from the bar and I, there was an acquaintance at the bar and the bartender happened to be right there next to him and I, I turned to him and I said, hey, any chance you can get me a glass of water, uh, please? And he looks at me and then he sees I've got my dog with me and he's like, no. Put your dog down and get your own glass of water. And I said, um, oh, no worries. I smiled and I looked away. Well, little did he know that I had fallen that day in my ski boots really hard. And it wasn't so easy. <laughs> That's a story for another day. But it wasn't so easy for me to just put the dog down and come and get my glass of water. So I never did get the glass of water. But my point was I woke up this morning and I thought you know he's looking at me and he's seen me out before and dancing and really active and and I know I could easily have gotten my own glass of water but not last night I by the way for the record know. I knew nothing about you trying to get this glass right, of water right no so yes it. please no Jeffrey had no idea he was not privy in the conversation anyway um I woke up this morning and I thought wow you know what it was such a simple ask and yet he didn't want to do it for me and it really has nothing to do about him personally it's all about us just helping our fellow man with small things or large things Jeffrey helped somebody at the post office the other day because they had a huge package of, of mail that you know they couldn't lift by themselves and anyway the bottom line is it doesn't take much to help your fellow man and don't judge a book by its cover I'm sure he thought that I was totally able to move, and I wasn't. I was in so much pain. But the point is, it didn't matter either way. So I would have gladly gotten him a glass of water. So help your fellow man. Wishing you great health, abundant happiness, outrageous love from Copper Mountain, and happy holidays. Let's let the games yes, begin. happy holidays.